What's up Shady Crew, back at it again with another reaction video man and we have um, another requested video. Now this requested video was by Jackson Pierce and I am super super late in getting to this man. He's been waiting for about two days for this reaction. So we're definitely going to jump in and take a look and see uh, what the level of creativity is in this track that he just dropped called Desert Rose Man. Um, now, one thing about uh, Jackson Pierce, he talks about, you know, the things that he experienced personally as um, a way for him to help shed some light on some situations that people may be facing themselves. Um, so um, I love his uh, take on music and the way that he uses it to express and to help others that may be in the same state. Um, so. We've reacted to quite a few of Jackson Pierce's tracks. He's done collaborations with Dwayne TV, Dizzy 8. Um, definitely going to be dope. I think this track, however, will just be him. No additives. It'll just be raw, uncut Jackson Pierce. Now, before we jump into this video, let me just segue because Twitter has been ablaze, man. I think this jumped off was this uh, either Saturday or Sunday, man, with this guy, MC Nemesis, man. Um, and I bring him up because this man called out both Jackson Pierce and Crip, man. Um, we're definitely going to check out his video. Apparently, he has a diss track that he's throwing at... Um, at Crip, but he had some choice words to say for Jackson Pierce um, on his his uh, reaction video. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll get to that later. We're that's not why we're here. That's not why we're here. But we'll get to Mr. MC Nemesis in in probably the next couple videos. Um, but I just wanted to put that you know uh, put that out. We did see that man, and uh, that's crazy. Um, here's the thing everybody has an opinion just like everybody has a butthole but nobody wants to go into the bathroom and smell your shit that, I mean like that's literally what it is man and like people are always trying to give you their opinion their perspective it wasn't asked for didn't ask you for how you felt about it you know what I mean um, and then it, it's crazy that uh, we have we live in a day and age where cl where clout chasing is the norm like people literally do things because they want it to go viral or they want there's not even stuff that they really believe you're not even being authentic you're just saying shit because you want to get a rise or um hopefully somebody gets mad enough and it gets retweeted and liked and disliked and all like it's nonsense bro none of that's gonna actually bring you physical money but uh go ahead play yourself but anyways man sidebar aside we're gonna go ahead and jump into this uh track jackson pierce desert rose man um, if you're new to the channel, please wait to the end of the video. That's typically when I give my reaction. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. God help me, please Get me off the streets where these dealers be Suddenly I feel those peeps Walking right past Get me away from Feel the me. breeze Slumped over on a bench On Phoenix Street Sunny days that ripped jeans My life's a hell of a trip Steered wrong Sick of having withdrawals I don't wanna I'm die I'm gonna become this man Begging to eat at a hot dog food stand And then I wonder where I went wrong Or did I lose it all? Does anybody give a fuck? Who would I call? I really don't know I've heard everybody that I love Everywhere I go I'm a all right, so um, it looks like in this uh, first part, he's dealing with uh, drug addiction and how that impacts everybody around you. Like um, those conversations that, you know, you typically have in your mind is like, yo, how did I get to this place? Like I'm out on a park bench, man, with no roof, no covering, no nothing. Probably don't even have uh, money in my pocket because the money's going to go to the addiction. And I'm out here literally begging a hot dog stand 
for a wiener. Like, you know what I mean? Like how fall, how far from where I should be have I fallen? So it's, uh, I'm definitely feeling that, man, for those that may be dealing with any type of drug addiction, man. Um, this will probably resonate with you if you've actually been in that state where, like, bro, you you gave your all. Like, you gave 120%, and that is not even an actual percentage, but you gave it to your addiction um, just so that, that uh, you, you could get that fix, you can get that high, man. And then these are the questions that you typically have once you start coming down off of that high. It's like, yo... I'm sleeping on the park bench like, yo, I'm begging hot dog stands for do hot dog. Like, like I'm literally out here, out here. Um, so it's definitely digging it so far. Definitely loving the message behind it, man. Um, and just just having that that faith in something other than yourself that helps you move past it. So we're going to jump back in it, man. But definitely wanted to state those facts. Let's go. Heard everybody that I love. Everywhere I go, I'm a desert road. Even though I try, I cry alone at night. Everywhere I go, I'm a desert road. Even though I try. Am I gonna die tonight? I'm just trying to make it through the day Hoping soon that the pain will go away Praying that this one way road that I'm on Will someday show me another way So I head back up to the corner Hoping that today will bring me change So I wake up tomorrow Knowing that my life will never be the same I need to find courage inside But pride aside to pick up the phone Cause I know if I don't reach out Things won't work out and I'll die alone Everywhere I Yo. go I'm a dead so in this part, he's speaking legit facts, man. Like a lot of times when people go through these scenarios of drug addiction, they don't really look for help or they don't uh, look for uh, people to reach out. And a lot of times you don't have people that reach out. But like when you're in these spots, man, like having someone to help you pull yourself up by your boots, like that speaks volumes. Like it's hard enough doing this thing called life alone, uh, but when you actually have somebody that's in your corner that's helping you, uh, now you have to be careful because this is a catch-22. There's a difference between helping someone and enabling someone. So you have to make sure that you know the difference between helping them and enabling them. If they're only coming to you when, when, shits get, when the shit hits the fan, and it's so that you can help them, you know, relieve some pressure or, you know, like feed into it. You're enabling them. You're not actually helping them. But if they've actually come to the place of acceptance and realize that they have a legitimate problem in and they can reach out to you, whether you're giving them words of wisdom, whether you're physically helping them in, that speaks volume for their situation that actually helps them transition from where they are to where they want to be so definitely dope so far man um i love the premise of this track definitely love the bars behind it and it's just speaking from a real place like um you know from his heart he's speaking from a real place and just spitting facts man of how that transition typically goes, man. So definitely dope so far, but let's jump back in. Die alone. Everywhere I go, I'm a desert road. I'm a desert road. Even though I try, even though I try, I cry alone at night. Cry alone at night. Everywhere I go, I'm a desert road. I'm a desert road. Even though I try, I cry alone at night. Yeah, I'm a drug addict, I'll wreak havoc to the one that showed me love, it's a bad habit. Running rabbit, so much damage, feeding for the high, my feelings vanish. A real struggle every day, and I'm lost in my way, trying to find time to pray, but to know what to say. Wanna run far away from this nightmare disease, it's got a hold of me and toss me on my own way. I'm gonna get myself back on my feet, I'll pat my back, earn in the feet, and know as long as I got cheated. I'll return with no receipt There's no defeat within my purpose I escaped from many hearses I'm still here to tell the world You can rise up through my verses Everywhere I go, I'm a dead
Stop it right there, man. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this Jackson Pierce Desert Rose, man. Um, I definitely love the the premise. Desert Rose, man. He's this beautiful uh, being. However, everything around him is definitely desolate and dry, man. So kind of giving you that idea or the mentality of um, an addict, man, where uh, they are genuinely really good people, but because of the addiction. They cause so much havoc in the the after wave or the aftershock of uh, that impact causes them to be in a desolate place, man. Um, so definitely was dope in regards to the bars, man. Definitely salute to Jackson Pierce for being transparent on the track, man, and speaking from his heart. And like I said in the earlier parts of this track, man, just the fact of, you know, one, having a support system, two, um, having you know belief in something other than yourself like when you're when when things get rough it's it's very hard for you to move past things if you don't believe in anything beyond yourself like it it, it makes it that much harder for you to do so now there are those that believe in themselves to be uh god and that's cool if that's what helps you to get through the point of the matter is being able to transition from this place to where you should be so um it was definitely dope um the way that he lined up this track and uh one thing that jackson pierce does very well is spinning the narrative or the story to kind of give you an a bird's eye view a view of how it plays out so you're able to see through the eyes of jackson pierce the addict him being on the street him not having a place to stay the mental a uh, fight that goes on inside of his head as he's trudging through life and circumstances. So it kind of puts you in that place. And it was definitely dope for me. Like from the name of the track and uh, the bars themselves, just kind of puts you in that spot so where you can go, damn, like I've been there. Like I, I identify with that and I've been in that place. It doesn't necessarily mean uh, drugs isn't the only thing that would put you in this place. There are other things that you could be addicted to that would be put that would put you in that space. So definitely dope for me. Definitely enjoyed the track, man. And this was him doing it solo dolo. Normally, uh, Jackson Pierce does do quite a few, uh, you know, collaborations, but this was him by himself speaking from the heart, man. So definitely salute to Jackson Pierce, man. This was another dope track, man. Uh, where you put it all on the line and let the chips fall where they may uh, Gave us something that we could actually, you know, gave substance to a track It wasn't just about the bars. It wasn't just about the hook. It wasn't just about the music But it has substance to it. So it actually painted a picture We could see it visit visualize it and actually see from from the start to the end how you got where you got so Definitely dope for me. You guys will have to let me know what you thought about the Desert Rose track, and we'll definitely hash it up in the comments. But anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and keep this moving. Make sure you stay locked to this channel. Your video's coming up next. Make sure you smash that like, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, Shady Crew, stay shady out there.